Good day everyone and a pleasant good morning to you. I hope that you are doing well. I hope that your families are doing well. And I pray that the Lord will continue to bless and keep you all in his favor. Our text today comes to us from 1 Corinthians and we will read from verses 1 to 8. And it goes as follows. It says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, and become a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. Verse 2 says, And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity I am nothing in verse 3 and though I bestowed all my goods to feed the poor and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity it profited me nothing verses 4 it says charity suffer it long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunted not itself, is not puffed up. Verse 5 do, does not behave itself unseemly, seek not her own, and is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. It says, Rejoice not in iniquity, right? But rejoice in the truth. Verse 7 says, Breathe at all things, believe it all things, hope it all things, endure it all things. Eight and last, charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. And I say, Amen. To God be the glory. Now, this is a chapter that I love. Because it tells us that Love must be demonstrated in its purest form, right? So love is an unselfish character, right? We must show kindness to each other. We must treat each other in in, 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 in love. We must show respect. We must look out for each other. Right? Love is not proud. Right? Love is not selfish. Right? And it tells us that whatever we are doing, we must do it in love. So, oh, our only motivator for doing the things that we do must be the love of Christ in us. That love should direct our actions. And if what we are doing, we are doing it for some other reason other than love or the love of Christ, then what we are doing is in vain. And so I pray that as we continue to share love with each other as we continue to look out for each other that we will allow the Holy Spirit to minister in our heart the characteristics of this love that Christ himself shared with us so that we can also share this love with those around us. May God continue to bless you and keep you as you continue in this day. Amen.